What is a folk song? Scholars disagree. Folk singers themselves disagree sometimes. The shortest and simplest definition I ever heard was this. Folk songs are what the people sing. In some ways this is quite true, but what happens if the people sing arias from opera, as they often do in Italy? Here is my definition, a little more elaborate perhaps, but accurate, I think. A folk song is almost any song which is liked by almost everybody in the country of its origin over a long period of time. Now this rules out first songs which are or were popular for just a short time and have disappeared. Second, it rules out songs which may become folk songs but aren't old enough yet. And third, it rules out songs which are liked only by certain minorities of people instead of by majorities in any given area. Who wrote folk songs? In a great number of cases we really don't know because they're just too old and were written mainly for non-professional purposes. When did folk songs first come over here? They came over from the very beginning with the first settlers, as we will show with examples. Uh, our American, that is, North American folk songs of English origin only. Although most of the lyrics are English, the melodies themselves are of mixed origin from every race and country that came over here, from England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, from Europe, from Scandinavia, from Greece, Russia, Asia, West Africa. All this rich musical background blended many times over in many combinations and permutations to produce American folk tunes. What is the importance of American folk song? First, the songs themselves are fascinating, lyrically and melodically, ranging from very good to brilliant inspirations. Second, they span a very wide area. Love songs, blues, work songs of various kinds, nonsense songs, protest songs, Soldier and sailor songs, war songs, peace songs, freedom songs. Songs which, in a word, reflect the rich variety and life and emotions of our democracy over its entire history. Third, in musical form, we can see ourselves looking backward to our very roots and beginnings through the feelings and minds and hearts and joys and sorrows and hopes of the great numbers of Americans who struggled and sorrowed and joyed and lived and died here. But we can also see ourselves projected forward, too, through these songs, forward to America as a country of eternal promise, of never-ending hope for everybody. These, then, are the true meanings of American folk songs. Here they are. In 1647, the Reverend John Cotton said in New England, quote, to sing man's melody is only a vain show of glory, end of quote. By man's melody, he meant secular melody, of course. Sacred songs had lovingly been brought over here from England by the pilgrims in 1620 in a hymn book called the Ainsworth Psalter, the only book of printed music the pilgrims brought. And in this Psalter, or hymn book, appeared a hymn entitled, Who is the Man? with a folk melody attractive enough to have been used before by Martin Luther himself in 1539 in his Lord's Prayer and by Johann Sebastian Bach in his St. John's Passion. Who is the man that life doth will that loveth days good for to see refraining keep thy tongue from ill thy lips from speaking fallacy do good and evil quiet as you seek peace and after it pursue in all time bless the Within my mouth away, my soul shall in the Lord glory, the meek shall hear and joy shall they. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, 
His name together next I sought God and he me answered And from my fears all rid me free And him they looked and forward And ashamed let not their faces be God heard when this poor man did call and saved him from his troubles all. In colony days, our budding country produced its first full-time professional songwriter and composer. William Billings was his name, born in 1746, died in 1800. Billings set himself up in Boston, Massachusetts. Outside his house, he placed a shingle which said simply, Billings, songs. Several of his works have survived to this day, including this affecting hymn composed as a round or canon called When Jesus Wept. When Jesus wept a falling tear In mercy flowed beyond all bound When Jesus groaned Christopher Columbus and other early explorers found the Indians using tobacco very much as it's used today. It was introduced into Europe in 1565. The song says simply, tobaccos, but an Indian weed, and like a good old-fashioned song, it points a moral. Tobacco's but an Indian weed grows green cut down at eve it shows our decay we are but clay think on this when you smoke tobacco the pipe that is so lily white wherein so many take delight Gone with a touch, man's life is such. Think on this when you smoke tobacco. The pipe that is so foul within shows how the soul is stained with sin. It doth require the purging fire. Think on this when you smoke tobacco. The ashes that are left behind Do serve to put a soul in mind That unto dust return we must Think on this when you smoke tobacco The smoke that doth so high ascend Shows that our life must have an end the vapor's gone, man's life is done. Think on this when you smoke tobacco. Think on this when you smoke tobacco. Think 
Little Mohi was the only daughter of an Indian chieftain in the next song, which is derived from a bawdy ballad, it's said, and whose tune is very similar to the melody of the famous folk song On Top of Old Smokey. As I went out walking Upon a fine day I got off a lonesome As the day passed away I sat down amusing Alone on the grass When who should sit by me But a sweet Indian lass She sat down beside me And took hold of my hand You sure be a stranger And in a strange land She asked me to marry And gave me her hand My pappy's a chieftain All over this land My pappy's a chieftain And ruler he be I'm his only daughter And my name is Mohi So I answered and told her That it never could be Cause I had my own sweetheart In my own country Yes, I had my own sweetheart And I know she loved me Her heart was as true as any mohi I said I must leave you So goodbye mohi There's wind in my canvas And it's home for me At home with relations I tried for to see But there wasn't a one like My little Mohi And the girl I had trusted Proved untrue to me So I sailed o'er the ocean Back to little Mohi Among the earliest settlers in the New World were Jesuit priests. One of these wrote the Indian Christmas Carol for the Huron Indians, in which the Christmas story takes on Indian characteristics. Twas in the moon of winter time when all the birds had fled that mighty Gitche Manitou sent angel choirs instead before their light the stars grew dim and wandering hunters heard the hymn jesus your king is born jesus is born in excelsis gloria Within a lodge of broken bark The tender babe was found A ragged robe of rabbit skin And wrapped his beauty round The chiefs from far before him knelt With gifts of fox and beaver pelt 
Jesus, your King is born. Jesus is born in excelsis glory. Children of the forest free, O oh, sons of Manitou, the holy child of earth and heaven is born today for you. Come kneel before the radiant boy who brings you beauty, peace, and joy. Jesus, your King is born. Jesus is born in excelsis glory. Many beautiful ballads from the British Isles were transplanted to the United States by the earliest emigrants and were passed down to succeeding generations in what folklorists call the oral tradition. That is, not written down, but by word of mouth. Some of these had died out in England and were found by later collectors only over here. Others were collected in both countries in different versions occasionally. One of these, the house carpenter, says Carl Sandburg, quote, is as quaint as a mezzotint portrait in the snuff box of one of General Washington's staff officers. Well met, well met, my own true love. Well met, well met, cried he. I've just returned from the salt, salt sea. And it's all for the sake of thee. Oh, I could have married the king's daughter fair, and she would have married me. But I have refused the crown of gold, and it's all for the sake of thee. Carpenter, and come away with me. I'll take you to where the grass grows green on the banks of Italy. If I forsake my house, Carpenter. On the salt, salt sea, a sailing for dry land, and a hundred and twenty jolly young lads shall be at thy command. I'm sure it was not three when this poor maid began to weep and she wept most bitterly. Oh, do you weep for your gold, he said, your houses, your land, or your store? No, I do weep for my poor little babe that I shall see no more. 
they had not been at sea three weeks. I'm sure it was not four when in the ship there sprang a leak and she sang to rise no sea-going train and all the sailors' lives for the robbing of the house carpenter and the taking away of his wife. A ballad is a folk song that tells a story. Lord Rendell, or as he is sometimes known, Lord Randall, is one of the most famous old ballads in English, though of Scottish origin. Its first version appeared here in around 1707. Where have you been all the day, Randall, my son? Where have you been all the day, my pretty one? I've been to my sweetheart mother I've been to my sweetheart mother Make my bed soon For I'm sick to my heart And I fain would lie down what have you been eating there, Randall, my son? What have you been eating there, my pretty one? Eels and eel broth, mother. Eels and eel broth, mother. Make my bed soon, for I'm sick to my heart. And I fain would lie down. What was the color of their skins, Randall, my son? What was the color of their skins, my pretty one? Spickled and spackled mother, Spickled and spackled mother, Make my bed soon. For I'm sick to my heart, and I fain would lie down. What will you leave your brother, Randall, my son? Tell me, what will you leave your brother, my pretty one? My gold and silver mother, my gold and silver mother, make my bed soon, for I'm sick to my heart, and I fain would lie down. What will you leave your sister, Randall, my son? What will you leave your sister, my pretty one? My houses and cattle, mother, my houses and cattle, mother, make my bed soon, for I'm sick to my heart. And I fain would lie down. What will you leave your sweetheart, Randall, my son? What will you leave your sweetheart, my pretty one? A rope to hang her mother. A rope to hang her mother. Make my 
bed soon For I'm sick to my heart And I fain 